Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Guys, we made it through the hardest day of the week. Monday is past us. We're working towards the middle of the week. Yesterday was bright and sunny, and we're all feeling good, right? Today is Tuesday, April 26, 2022. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag Happy birthday today to third grader Zachary Tennant. I have to apologize to not give a second grader birthday shout out yesterday. Kylie DeHaven, happy birthday yesterday. And because it was not on my list of birthdays, I'm going to give you permission to celebrate two days. So if you wore your crown yesterday, you can wear it again today if you have it. And I hope that both of you feel the love today. Along with birthdays, our national calendar says that today is National Pretzel Day. National Pretzel Day on April 26th recognizes one of America's favorite snacks, a bag of nice, crunchy, salty pretzels, or a big, warm, soft cinnamon pretzel is the question of the day. Either one is an excellent choice. There are a few different accounts of the origin of the pretzel. Some say it comes from the Greeks. Some say it comes from the French. But either way, they're both delicious. Something else to make me smile. I can remember watching the people work at the pretzel shop in the middle of the mall. It used to be owned by a different company, but now it's Auntie Anne's, or I think that's how you pronounce it. And I used to watch them master taking those long, they almost look like what we now know of monkey noodles, the fidgets, but they would take that long piece of dough and they would lift it up, spin it perfectly, lay it down, and then move it to the sheet. They had it perfected. They would do several of those in a time. And whenever I play with Play-Doh now, I always think that I'm a person working in the pretzel shop, rolling out that dough, so grabbing that piece, flipping it up in the air, twisting it around, and making it a perfect pretzel. So how does your pretzel look? You should try it the next time you use Play-Doh or clay. For lunch today, the cafeteria will be serving teriyaki chicken and vegetables over fluffy white rice, chicken patty sandwich, grilled chicken salad, and wow butter and jelly. Something to note for tomorrow they are having shortages for the corn dog. So instead of corn dog tomorrow, you will have the option of a hamburger or barbecue pork. Just wanted to give you that reminder so you can take that in consideration when you're getting your lunch and snack ready tonight. Good luck to all our third and fourth grade students who will be taking their first, the first portion of the PSSAs. Trivia Tuesday. What does the PSSA stand for? I'll give you a clue. The first letter, P, stands for the name of the state that we live in. Take a guess. Uh, the answer will be shared tomorrow during the morning announcements. Kindergarten, first and second grade students, we ask that you be very quiet when moving from class to class and in the hallway while you're using the restroom. Most of the tests will be over by around 1130, but we wanna be very cautious and respectful when we're switching classes. Teachers, an announcement will be shared either by email or on the loudspeaker that all third and fourth grade classes be, that are testing have finished. 
So again, teachers, we will let you know when all of the classes are finished testing. I hope that you all enjoyed one, two, three, four fabulous days of warm temperatures, sunny weather. It was gorgeous. In fact, I saw a lot of rosy cheeks today. That tells me that you are outside making memories, either in the mud, on the ball field, or just playing in your backyard. So I was so happy to see that everyone a little bit was kissed by the sun. The temperatures, unfortunately, are going to be moving in the downward direction and it will be cold. Please, please plan accordingly. Wear your appropriate footwear and jacket when coming to school. And know that we will still go out unless it is raining. Now, I hope that we all can go and run like a greyhound. Choose respect, be responsible, always choose kindness, and never give up. I hope that you all have a terrific Tuesday. It's a good day to have a great day. Mrs. Lewis loves all of you. Good luck, third and fourth grade, and I'll see everyone later. Bye, friends.